have things changed in your life since you were that young frightened girl who used to come to Good Morning America when I worked there with Joan London and Charlie Gibson and you were um, uncertain of how well you spoke English mm -hmm. and now you are the big international star. Things have changed. <laughs> I haven't changed so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, so how does the youngest of 14 children from Charlemagne, Quebec become mm -hmm. the big international star that you are today. Can you, when you look back over this experience, do you pinch yourself in disbelief? It'd be a long story, and I don't even know if we have enough time for me to tell <laughs> you my whole life story. We're talking about 25 years yeah. already. Um, but something for sure. I believe that nothing really changed. Uh, I don't believe that people really change. Mm -hmm. um, 25 years passed, and I would say to you today, that I feel much better today as when I started. When I started my career, I felt like I needed to prove to myself, needed to prove to my parents, my, my family, the people who were there to listen, to watch. Um, it's something that comes naturally when you're an entertainer, a performer. Mm -hmm. You want to show off, you need to show them what you can do. You need to prove them that you can make it, and you can do it, right. um, to deliver. But today, after doing this for 25 years, I was very noticing today even more than before. Noticing how privileged and lucky I was over the years to have been surrounded so well and to have remained pretty strong mm -hmm. and healthy yeah. in my heart and my brain. Right. And I guess I feel more grounded today than before. I used to travel the clouds pretty much like it's a dream, <laughs> it's a dream, it's a dream. <laughs> noticing today that maybe my head is in the clouds, but my feet are well right. grounded. Oh, right. Yeah. So nicely put. And That's all right. this with the help of the family and the friends and, of course. and the hard work. I mean, you have nothing for nothing, right. working hard. Is this something you've always dreamed about, though? For, I mean, 25 years back, did you say, I want to be a singer, I want to be a performer, this was like your goal mm -hmm. in life, your only dream? Mm -hmm. Or was there something else that Celine Dion wanted to do? Or when I was very young, um, between the age of probably five and ten, um, I knew music was part of my life. My brothers and sisters were all playing instruments and being performers themselves, like my parents. Oh, the, the others were musical too. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They're all musical. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't probably as lucky for doing it professionally, or they didn't want to. Right. Um, but we're all musical and singers and musicians, and including my both parents. Um, so I knew pretty young that this is what I wanted to do. And one day when the Olympics were happening in Montreal, it was, um, I should not forget the year, but <laughs> Nadia Comaneci mm -hmm, uh, yes. came and scored a perfect 10, and mm -hmm. I remember watching her performance, and she almost changed my destiny. Um, suddenly, I wanted to become a gymnast. <laughs> I wanted to be as good as Nadia Comaneci, and I knew I could have the guts and the will and the discipline of making it. Right. If somebody else than Nadia Comaneci could do it, it was me. <laughs> and that's what it takes, the guts. And, and the then, way. well, instead of holding a bar, I was holding a microphone. <laughs> And you held it pretty well, I might Well, I'm doing my very best, but um, that, that's, I always knew that this is what I wanted to do. When your mother contacted Rene and uh, introduced him to your talent, is it true that he cried at your first audition? That's what I've, been, that's what I've read. It he was so true. touched by, by your talent and mm -hmm. how amazing your voice was? Mm -hmm. Well, it is true. Uh, I met with him, and he said, are you capable of reproducing right now, if I would ask you to, um, to sing again in front of me, to reproduce this, what I just heard. And then I said, yes. 
I think so. He said, just imagine you're on stage and you're performing for people. I'll give you my pencil and just imagine that you're singing a microphone and all that. And I started to sing and I guess he had a vision or he was touched. I don't know, but he teared. And wow. I was pretty touched by that. And um, it's true. The whole world knows you guys have this incredible, deep, deep love that people admire that grew over the years when you started your career. Was there a moment that you knew you're like, this is the man I want to be with forever? Mm -hmm. Can you remember that moment? It kind of was grew it? Yeah. in me. Uh, I'd be, I be very honest. It's not something that I said, Ting. No, I, <laughs> I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Not really. It grew. I was innocent and I was very, very young. And there was nothing at all about having this man part of my life more than he was already. Yeah. He was a mentor. He was my, my manager, the person who was looking over me. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom was always with me. My dad was there for being my dad. And, but Rene always wanted to make sure that I was surrounded with the best people possible. Um, but then when you're 16 and 17 and 18 years old, then you start to have different feelings. You grow. Yeah. And, um, and it's something that grew over the years, knowing that suddenly when I was singing, when I was singing and thinking about love, mm -hmm. he was part of it. Oh. Right. So I kept, we kept it. I kept it first. But, well, did he felt this before me? Did I felt, did I felt this thing before him? Right, right. Oh. Did we felt it together? I don't know, but it's been 25 years of love. And well, speaking so of that love, I, one of the things that impresses me most about what the public knows about your relationship is how you took time away from your profession mm -hmm. to be with Renee during his illness. Mm -hmm. That was pretty Profound, I think. Well, this is when I'm very thankful for life itself. Yeah. For me to have remained um, pretty balanced. Um, priorities. Yeah. My family, my husband that I have chosen. We have chosen each other. Mm -hmm. um, wanting to have a baby, being there for my child. Yes, wanting to be on stage and do what I love, express myself. But I'm very lucky that I don't have to go work nine to five, five days a week to pay the rent. I can still do what I love with the fans and raise my child and be with my husband and still have my family. But I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that I have, like I said, remained and that I can know that my priorities are the, prince, the, the essentials. Um, and it didn't, it didn't take me a lot to think, uh, because I wanted to cancel the tour. I was, we were getting ready to go on tour. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I know it's far way back and it was a world tour and he had worked so hard to prepare this big world tour. And I said to him, listen, there's no tour. I am not turning this and I'm not going around this world without you. And he said, I'll tell you something. You have to go for me, wow. for us. Please go. I will, I will get better if you are good, and I will be good if we are touring together. Physically, I won't be there, but you know I'm there every night. It was very difficult for me because I wanted, I wanted him to say to me, please stay with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in a way, this is what he said. It was just not said verbally this way. Mm -hmm. But I understood very quickly that if I don't want to put pressure on him and I want to help him to, to help himself, I needed to go. And that's what worked. And we travel the world. You talk about these priorities, though. It, it's still, I would imagine, it must be challenging, though, to balance those priorities because you have such a demanding schedule. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do 160 shows a year or more, and you have this family that you love and that you're <laughs> devoted to. How do you find the energy to keep it all in balance? When the curtains come down, it is the beginning of my life. This is how I deal with it. When the curtains goes up, this is the beginning of another part of my life, which is show business. Yeah. I do not necessarily mix both of them. Are they the same? I have to question myself. I'm 38 years old. I'm still a kid. <laughs> I don't know. To me, you are. <laughs> but it's either, it's either I do those two things so well together that I don't differentiate. Dif 
how do you say differentiate this differentiate differentiate thank <laughs> right. you so much you got it. differentiate both so it's like one thing or i separate those two things so well mm -hmm. one doesn't go on top of the other right. when i'm home i'm a mommy yeah when i'm on stage i'm still a mommy mm. yeah. i'm still a mommy but when i'm home for sure i don't it's no show business right but it's so much part of me i don't know well, you have this wonderful family. We know you love to perform. You love to you love to sing. But what does Celine Dion also like to do that maybe we don't know about? Like in your spare time, mm -hmm. <laughs> is there something? Well, for about a year, my spare time is very focused on giving my son another good start in life, which is studying him in school. He's homeschooling because I, we, my husband and I have decided that it was the best thing for him. Yeah, probably yes. And he's doing so well. <laughs> and um, how old is he now? He's five and a half. Five, five and a half, yeah. <laughs> For sure, it's to say that. Yeah, yeah. Soon to be five and three quarters. <laughs> uh -huh. He's counting on that. It's very important to me to be very making sure that he's okay for going to school and that he learns well, that he succeed. And don't get me wrong when I say about succeed. Succeeding for me, it's not about having success like winning an award mm -hmm. or having a hundred percent, which is not doing really bad. He's doing so he's so good at school. <laughs> but um, for me, it's to be, Renee Charles. Do you like your teacher? Do you like going to school? Are you looking forward for your teacher to come? Yeah. Do you like learning things? That is important to me, and this is what I'm looking for. That's this is awesome. my big big role right now. I want to ask you a couple of questions about Excuse being me. a performer. Do you, is there a favorite part of your show, the part that you love most about being on stage, or is there a favorite song you like to yeah. sing? I mm -hmm. want to hear about your favorite things about what you do as a performer. I have to say that pretty much of all of them, we have chosen them carefully. Yeah. Um, singing for 25 years, I could not include all the songs that I've done over the years, mm -hmm. so I had to choose. So. Mm -hmm. The, the songs we've chosen, it's because we had pay attention and because we loved them and because we knew we could do something good with them. Um, the beginning of the show is a little bit frightening a little bit because it's the moment that I'm the most fragile. Should I say more scared? It's my first hello to them. Even to now? The so you still get jitters? Even now. Wow. Even now. And you know what? Maybe more than ever. Wow. Because now I know what to expect. Before, I had no clue. <laughs> I had no clue what to expect. Now I know what I deal with. So, first hello is quite something. Then the show's on. I love when the dancers come. Yeah. And to image what I look, what I see, what I feel. To put, to give the audience an image of what I feel inside. Um, I love feeling them. I also love when I get close to them, I sit on the stairs and I get so close that I can feel them. I love chatting with them. Yes. I love hearing them when they say to me, Smith, ah. it's my birthday, <laughs> something really like that. that too, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because you know what? Let's put it this way. It's like if you invite friends over, is it the hors d'oeuvre? Is it the chat? Is it the dinner itself? Is it the sunset? Is it a joke that somebody said during the night? Is it the tears we've shed? What is it? You know what? It's a moment. It's an evening. It's a moment that when we end every show, I want them to say, you know what? I want them to be happy that they came. Yeah. Yeah. That's my goal. That's our goal. Yeah, and people who've seen the show say that they'll never forget it. It's That's incredible. True. Well, I'm glad, yeah. and I think there's a reason why we're still here without being pretentious saying so, yep. that we started our fourth year, and we'll be here till the end of 2007 in December. Wow. I know, I know. <laughs> so what's next? Yeah, so after what's that? next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. We have, the show had evolved a lot. Yeah. We have changed the show, the show a lot. Mm -hmm. And it will again, till this, the end of this year, the show is um, changing quite a bit. I'm talking about, yeah, lights. I'm talking about, yeah, 
numbers, new songs, <laughs> wow. costumes. Wow. A lot of things have changed. So if you think you saw a new day, you have to come another That's day. Right. Right. Because it changed quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah. what about after December 2007? Do you have any plans yet? Girlfriend, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on now. Let's put it this way. We're building a home in, uh, in Florida, no. on the ocean, oh. and I have plans for us to uh, move in <laughs> and uh, enjoy life, enjoy the world. We'll see. I keep you posted. Is that okay. a deal? Yeah, that's, that's a, a deal. great deal. Wonderful. Well, we want to thank you for taking this time to spend with us. I have seen your show. I know how much energy you put into that show. You run, you dance, you fly, you sing, you connect with the audience. And you have to do that in just a few minutes. And we're just thrilled that you spent a few minutes with us before right. going out to do that. And you're a true inspiration not only to your yeah. fans, but to, to us as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. For Pleasure chatting so with you. Pleasure to see you again. Nice meeting you. Thank yeah, you. so much. Thank Stay you so well. much. Thank you.